This is a how-to video for how to properly administer an EpiPen. An EpiPen is an auto-injector that delivers a dose of epinephrine to someone who is anaphy in anaphylactic shock. Anaphylaxis is associated with many different sy symptoms, such as tightening of the throat, large itchy hives all over the body, shortness of breath, and closing of the airways. Epinephrine releases the muscles in the airways and tightens the blood vessels. EpiPens are a life-saving device that should only be used to treat anaphylaxis. If accidentally injected, seek medical attention. You may ask, why is it important to know how to properly administer an EpiPen? The answer to that question is, you never know when you're going to be in a situation where someone may need an EpiPen and you're the only one who can administer it for them. Allergies are on the rise in the country. There are more than 15 million people in the United States who have allergies. Six million of those are children. That means one out of every 13 children has allergies. As of 2013, food allergies had increased by over 50% over a 15 year time span. And they are increasing over the years past. These statistics are exactly why I think it is important for everyone to know how to administer an EpiPen. The way you administer an EpiPen is to take it out of the tube, flip open the cap, you slide it out. This is the blue safety cap, which you'll have to remove. You hold it firmly and tight in your hand. You swing down, press into the outer thigh, hold for three seconds, and release. You'll never see the needle. You'll want to rub the injection site in a circular motion for 10 seconds, which will spread the medicine. It is very important that you only inject into the outer thigh. This is because the thigh muscle is large, it has lots of blood vessels, so the medicine will be able to spread throughout your body, allowing for multiple points of access for the epinephrine to enter the blood circulation. EpiPens are life-saving devices that give a person an extra 20 minutes to get to the hospital. When there are so many people in the United States with allergies, you never know when you may come into a circumstance where you need to administer an EpiPen, and everyone should know how to do it the correct and proper way.